What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm the Vigorous Shooter and today I'm going to show you guys how to balance the Ziyun Crane 3S. Okay, before we start, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel now because we come out with videos like this all the time and I wouldn't want you guys to miss it. Right off the bat, when you want to balance your gimbal, you want to make sure you have it in a position to where your motors is locked exactly like this. The reason why is because they make it very simple for you to just throw the camera on top of it and balance each axis separate from each other. And then after that, you combine all of them together. All right, let me show you how. Once you make sure your motors are locked, throw in your camera. Now that we got our camera on top of the gimbal, the first thing we're going to do, we're gonna unlock this axis first. That's what controls the tilt of the camera. As you balance the gimbal, you always want to make sure that you secure the camera at all times. You want to slide your camera back and forth, right? And the way you're going to do that is you're going to bring this lever back slightly. And then you move your camera very slight movements. So that way you could get it kind of balancing a bit. See? No hands. And once you have your camera doing that, that's when you just go ahead and lock the lever as far as you can. Secondly, what you wanna do is you wanna unlock this little pin right here and you're going to tilt your camera upwards, push the plate forward and backward and do that until the camera stays upright. Voila. And then you want to make sure you lock that thing in place, okay? It's not going anywhere. I could move it anywhere I want and it's just going to stay there. Now we want to start balancing the roll of the gimbal. And how we're going to do that is you're going to unlock this little lever right here. Make sure you unlock it and secure the camera at all times. Boom, you see that? The camera just went flying. So you just got to make sure you secure that thing. I think it's best practice once we finish with an axis, we want to basically lock it in place so that way it doesn't move. We want to balance this so it's not rolling and it just stays in place and wherever we put it, it's just going to stay there. There's the lever right there on the back of the motor. You want to unscrew that motor and then carefully tilt it to the side that doesn't have that much pressure. Too much weight on the arms will make it lock itself. So you wanna kind of push the camera up from the bottom and then that way you'll have control to slide it. Like this. I'm almost there. Tilt test it a little bit by taking your hands off of it to see if it rolls. You wanna make sure you're fine tuning it and not doing heavy pushes. Once you get it to stand on its own, then you go ahead and make sure you lock that screw now that we're halfway through balancing this gimbal if you guys find this video valuable so far please hit that thumbs up the last thing you want to do now is unlock your last motor which is right here on this side just make sure to unlock it and remember secure the camera at all times and then now you'll be able to pan the camera back and forth make sure you lock your other motors so they don't rock and literally what you want to do is tilt the camera on its legs in order to push the arm, you want to unlock this little screw back here and that will allow you to slide it forward and back. So we're going to slide it forward until it doesn't turn on its own when we tilt it back. All right, something like this. See, it's still pushing. You wanna get it forward until it doesn't rock as far. You want to make sure you fine tune it. See, it's not going anywhere. And that's where we want it. And then after that, we tighten the screw. And now it's time to turn that thing on. Unlock all the other motors. And then from there, we turn on the gimbal. Ah, Thank you guys for watching this video. If you learned a lot from it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, once again, subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like this. And I'll see you on my next one. Deuces!